for families in Brooklyn and right here in Queens. Last month's historic floodwaters may finally be gone, but the lasting impact can certainly still be felt and seen as local lawmakers rush to find new ways to protect our communities from future storms. Water came in so fast that it ripped the door from our storm door from the top of its frame. Seven weeks later, and Yo Cheng Ma and her husband are still dealing with dumpsters full of debris. On September 1st, six feet of flood water surged into their fresh metals basement. It's where they stored rare instruments for their not for profit organization. The Children's Orchestra Society. Most of the instruments were damaged beyond repair. We had violins and violas and cellos and trombones, clarinets, flutes. Their insurance company was no help. So insurance is not paying anything because of flood exclusion. Today, the city council's committee on environmental protection held a hearing. They're searching for new ways to make the city more resilient ahead of future storms as our climate continues to change. The rain will continue to turn streets into rivers and flood subways, homes and businesses. The council is considering several new laws, including a bill that would allow homeowners to file claims against the city for water damage caused by overcapacity sewers. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Department of Environmental Protection is working to keep rainwater away from sewers and homes. From the surface, they look like just a bunch of bushes or a tree. DEP Commissioner Vincent Sapienza joined volunteers in East Elmhurst as they built rain gardens in their community. Some of these can absorb more than 2,000 gallons of, of water that would otherwise end up in the sewer system. Back in fresh meadows, Ma is still trying to dry out stacks of irreplaceable sheet music. Racing against the clock to try to get the music before it rots, before the mold sets in. <laughs> Tamsin and Corey, you see it happening right in front of you. The Children's Orchestra Society, they are working to rebuild. They have had some help so far, thanks to neighbors and to donors, but there's still a long way to go. But they are determined that the music must go on. Reporting live from Fresh Meadows in Queens, Ayanna Harry, PIX11 News. You know, it's, it's always tough to see mm -hmm. so much damage, but then, mm -hmm. then you know, you hear about the impact that these instruments have on kids and like they're being affected too. I mean, it, it's just awful. And the thing, seven weeks later, as you mentioned, I thank know. you. All right, for those who are still recovering from Ida, we have put together a list of agencies and organizations that are helping storm victims out there. And you can find all of that at pix11.com resources.